Hey, what's up, Ovi Tribe? Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to be doing another torture test. A while back, I did a torture test with using our Storm Light Synthetic, and it got a lot of people's attentions. They thought it was really cool um, that we would test a product like that. Um, but now we've been rolling kind of past the OV Lights uh, or the Storm Light Synthetic, and we've been moving more to the Loftec Synthetic. So, everything that we've tested inside of the office and, and laboratories and whatnot say that this synthetic will perform just the same as the storm light. However, there's nothing quite like a real life test to see if that's true. So these are different insulations for sure. The storm light synthetic is a bonded insulation, which means that um, the way that it's made in the microfiber materials, water really can't penetrate through it. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different. So this hopefully will get wet a little bit easier than that. Um, last time we had a lot of problems getting that water inside of the bag, but um, we'll see how well this repels water first. Um, we'll, we'll make sure that it gets completely soaking wet and then I'm going to sleep out here um, in the woods using this and hopefully I survive the night. It's a bit chilly out here. You can see I've already got uh, my jacket on for the evening. Um, but we're about to get wet. I may, may take it off and get this bag soaking wet. This is the top quilt. So this is our Loftec top quilt. We'll get this soaking wet and we'll set up for the night and see if I survive. Seems to be pulling up pretty good. Let's see if the inside of this bag still dry again probably like the storm lights um, I'm probably gonna have to soak it from the inside out but let's get a bunch of water pour it on here and uh, see if we can't get it wet from the outside in first starting to feel it on that seam ice cubes from <laughs> Ooh, buddy definitely ice cold water <laughs> use it as a canteen if you have to so that's another testament to how waterproof the bag is and the coatings but uh it's definitely, definitely getting wet. So we'll keep, we'll keep adding to it. All right, I think I've got it as wet as I can using this method, so. I'm actually gonna put it back in the compression bag and dump water in the compression bag and try to soak it through that way. This is a bit crazy. It's getting real heavy. So I'll put a couple bottles in here. We'll let it soak for a little while and then uh, we'll start prepping for the night. Okay, we're gonna let this seek all the way through and then I'm gonna pretend like this is how I got my bag and uh, kind of prep it for the night. I'm probably gonna wring it out a little bit like you normally would if this actually happened to you. But we'll leave this here. We'll go set up our tent and uh, we're gonna see if we survive the night in the Loftec insulation soaking wet. 
All right guys, so it's starting to rain here, so I'm gonna hurry and take the camera and put it inside, but this has been soaking forever. I've been watching water drip off of this nonstop. You can see, I mean, it's just soaking wet. It's, it's coming out of the, the seams down here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to wring the bag out the best that I can. And then I'm gonna take it in my tent and we'll sleep in it. I'll do more filming in the tent there, but um, so essentially I'm just, I'm just gonna probably pull this out or, or try to wring it somehow. Wring as much of the water out as I can, like I would in a real life scenario if this got soaked somehow, and then we'll go sleep in it. But this rain's not gonna help me keep it dry. So anyways, we'll get it wrung out and we'll see you in the tent. All right, I'll be honest, this is not my favorite part of the job. I don't even wanna touch that top quilt because it's ice cold. So just a heads up, if you wanna be really cold, sleep next to a creek. And I'm sleeping right next to a creek, so that's not going to help my case and uh, keeping me warm. It's definitely gonna to add to the chill factor, but um, we just dropped into the 40s now for temperature. It's rained and I'm sure it's gonna keep getting colder throughout the night, but um, I imagine we're gonna see 30 degrees here tonight. And uh, that'll be a really good test because we're in a 15 degree bag. And, and uh, so anyways, that's soaking wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the night and uh, I'll let you see me get into that bag. <laughs> this is, that's the worst part. Getting into the bag is definitely the worst part. All right, so I'm about to go to bed and you can kind of see how wet this is. The insulation adheres just a little bit, so it might, might have to shift it down around a little bit inside there, but I've the, the camera settings make it hard to see the water that's on the outside of this. But uh, we're about to, to climb in. This is like my least favorite thing ever. The initial part. <clears throat> Once I'm in, I think I'm gonna be fine tonight. <laughs> yep, definitely wet. <laughs> So my socks are already soaking wet, about 20 seconds. Um, I'm, on, I'm wearing a cotton poly blend shirt and some synthetic um, long john underwears. And that's it, so I'm gonna put a beanie on since this is a top quilt and uh, I'll report back in the morning. Like I said, we're into the 40s now, so hopefully we'll see 30s tonight and we'll be able to tell, but I can, I can feel the warmth in here also wanted to note that the insulation, like the water came out of this bag really fast. Like, and I'm sure that's because it's siliconized fibers again, but um, I would imagine by morning, um, similar to the storm light, that the synthetic is gonna dry out, but we'll see. It's lofted, everything's really lofted, but when it gets wet, it's a little bit easier for this insulation to shift around. So uh, I'll shift it around a little bit and We'll see how we sleep. Hey, what's up guys? So I survived the night and uh, it did, did well. Um, my upper body all the way down to my toes is completely dry, um, which is super nice, but my toes are still pretty cold. And I think there's two reasons for that. One, I'm on a slight downhill my feet are downhill, so the bag is slowly draining towards my feet. But I also think that my feet have less circulation, have been colder all night, and so it hasn't had as much heat to push the moisture out of the bag down there compared to up here where there's plenty of heat to, to push that moisture out. But um, compare, comparing this to the storm light, so I think that the the Loftec got wet faster. I think it also dried out a lot faster. Um, so that's a plus. Um, but 
when the Loftite gets wet, it's easier for the insulation to shift around inside of the baffles. And uh, so that causes more opportunity for cold spots. Um, it wasn't, wasn't bad for me, but I did slightly notice that just, just a little bit. Um, I think it, you know, changes the temperature rating just a hair of the bag when, when your insulation's shifting around and, and whatnot. But, um, let's see, it got down to about 40 degrees, 42 degrees. Um, but I am sleeping right next to a creek and that definitely made it feel colder. I mean, it feels like it's freezing out there right now like in, in, in the thirties. Um, and thanks to that water trickling all night, I had to get up multiple times to go to the bathroom, which I never have to do. Um, <laughs> I didn't think much of that, but now I do. Anyways, Loftec definitely worked and it definitely kept me warm. Lofted did not fail. Um, I survived. The feet are still a little bit cold, but um, other than that, everything is dry completely dry and and like I say still fully lofted so super cool test I survived and we're gonna get up and get on the trail before the Sun gets up so that we can uh, cover some more distance so um, if you've got more questions about loft tech or its properties make sure to jump over to outrevitals.com and live chat with one of our experts there or um, you can shoot us an email from there as well. So thanks again for tuning in guys and we'll catch you on the next video.